Dang, son. That's a celebration right now, it's man. A ce look at that, man. Milkshakes for everybody. So we're a little off topic here, but this is something that we wanted to address because some of you guys, not a lot of you guys, some of you guys have been asking about. All right guys, so before this video gets started, it's time to do our very first upgrade to the ZR1. We're gonna make this thing sound a little bit better. Dang, son. <laughs> that looks pretty dang insane right there. I do love the carbon little cover on it too, but that's why they had to do that. Dude, that looks so sick. Yeah, because this thing is way too tall for like a normal hood. That is huge supercharger. But imagine, dude, you have this like same powder coated as this and just have it exposed. Look at the bottom of this sucker right here. So it's got carbon on top and then on the bottom, it's got a little Chill. bit of heat tape or whatever you call it. If I won the car, I would have ran it. I'd run it like what? this, man. I just think that just looks sick. Just right show there. off that super mint yes, engine bay. LT5. So much better now. It, it sounds amazing. Almost sounded like a Hellcat for a second. I'm saying it has a little bit of a scream to it now, dude. You scared me right there. Dude, she likes burnouts now, dude. You scared me right there. Why? Maybe because Pop's truck was right there, but I think you got it under control, right? Oh man, this thing is controllable, but that was a burnout right there, Hey, dude. don't worry also, this thing will come with a brand new fresh set of some tires. It's just for us right here. We'll get you some new ones, dude. Guys, this giveaway is not gonna last forever. It's gonna end in a few short weeks, so get entered while you can. The ZR1 plus $30,000 cash on top of all that. So check out the website, check out all the official rules, cop you some epic gear, and it might be you. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the Corvette ZR1, and look at this sucker. I mean, we got all the paintwork completed, and we even put together the whole rear end. It's looking pretty dang nasty, and we also got this sucker fired up. That was kind of the most important thing. We finally started it up, and honestly, it's got a super nasty chop for a supercharged motor. Just absolutely crazy, but we love it. We love this color right here, but the next thing that we're gonna move on to is pretty much piecing together the front end. We're gonna throw on the doors, put together the whole entire interior, pretty much just try to finish this car up 100%. So let's go ahead, probably turn this sucker around and start putting together some front end parts.
check this out guys so we just made a ton of progress on the zero one it's looking absolutely just beautiful but we did start with throwing a brand new radiator fan on here because our old one was just making a bunch of noise it was just damaged also check out this intake dry carbon one that actually fits the zero one looks super good and it's pretty crazy how it actually scoops air through the bumper through this little grill right here and gets that fresh air into that cammed motor right dude, there that's dude. the biggest filter I've ever seen on a car dude huge. that is huge but it does look good and now the hood can actually close <laughs> yep exactly and i love that we just threw on this cover right here and it makes everything just look complete in there cleaned it up exactly and we threw on some extra heat protectors onto the spark plug wires because they're super close to those headers so got that out of the way also threw on the doors and the fenders and the headlights and look at these suckers right here brand new lenses paint matched inside little black touches on the inside there but i'm still kind of leaning towards maybe like a black led headlight dude they sell ones that look like the other zr1 you that know that would be sick that actually, would be pretty dude. sick but dude this is original zr1 headlight styles dude that actually looks pretty clean we're gonna have to see when we put the whole front end together 100 oh, we might just keep it like that but other than that man everything is lining up perfectly all the gaps are just phenomenal we did throw some nice little neat little carbon touches into the fenders right there just a little stuff that makes it match to other c7 yes, zr1 sir. just looking super cool but right now what we're going to move on to is just lining up this hood right here then we're going to move on to that bumper and we got some more carbon goodies Dang, son. That's a celebration right now, it's man. A Look at that, man. Milkshakes for everybody, dude. <laughs> In the Modelo case. That's what crazy. the world? <laughs> DoorDash right there. But anyways, dude, look how good we got this car to look, man. Dude, it looks <laughs> so aggressive, so clean. We got all the body lines lined up, the hood, the bumper. But dude. man, my favorite is the front carbon lip. Dude, the whole front end of this car just flows perfectly now with a carbon lip right there brand new morimoto led uh, fog, fog lights which that just looks way better than stock the black badge the carbon little vent right here who just the whole front and even the brand new little marker lights look at that led strip man that thing just looks so sick dude, dude. it just looks so <laughs> modern honestly for 2010 dude it already looked good but with all these little touches that we did it made it look even more just cleaner dude, you this know this car is never gonna lose that eye candy you know never I mean? dude it's always gonna look good i mean even the brand new side skirts that we just threw on of course they're gonna be carbon to match everything dude i love how they go on the sides right here kind of just blocks those rocks from chipping anything of course we threw the same thing on the rear right here just this whole car man this whole entire setup with the tail lights it's i just love this car it's probably my favorite car so far dude honestly man this, the more and more we like the get more, this thing together yes the more we throw stuff on here the better it looks i mean i can't wait to throw the mirrors on um finish up the roof i mean i think we're gonna go ahead and re-clear this roof that way it just looks brand new because buffing this will probably take way too much time we're just gonna re-clear it that way we can throw it on and just finish up the interior and just finish up the whole car
YouTube star, Vitaly. Hi guys, so we're a little off topic here, but this is something that we wanted to address because some of you guys, not a lot of you guys, some of you guys have been asking about this truck in the background right here. And um, this is our brother's truck actually. So we wanted to just go ahead and address that. Should be leaving probably here in the near future. He's actually working on it. Um, it's got a little bit of damage. He bought it off the auction. It's a nice truck though. It's a limited Ram. What is it, 1500? Yeah, 1500. What'd you pay for it? 20K. 20K, dang. 15,000 miles. Wow. Brand new truck. That's a good, it's a good looking truck. It's a nice truck, yeah, but I, I'll tell you what, it needs a Hellcat in it. Oh yeah. You want to do a Hellcat swap Let's, while it's here? Let's do it. I mean, either a diesel or Hellcat. I don't know about the You can put gases. those stickers on it, put TRX. <laughs> Just put some TRX stickers yeah. on it. And it has a little bit of damage, a little bit of a suspension damage, nothing too crazy. Yeah. Bumper, fender, headlight. I mean, look at this. It's got air ride suspension in it. Is that air ride suspension? Yeah, I think so. The heck? This thing's going to be float. It's like going to be like a Cadillac. Interior is looks just like the TRX interior. Pretty dang nice. It's a clean title? No. No damage on the Carfax? Nope. Clean title. <laughs> yeah, hey, this but, is pretty nice for a work truck. It is. It's I'm really nice. I'm not paying $70,000 for a work truck. Check this out guys, so we just brought this sucker outside just to show you guys how good that roof turned out. I mean, but first off, look at the whole entire car out here, dude. It looks so good out in the light, dude. Oh, really? That's <laughs> a good looking sick. car. But more importantly, we got this roof completely buffed out without having to throw any clear coat. We just wanted to attempt it and actually it turned out flawless. It's brand spanking new. Look at that carbon right there dude, that dude. looks so good i love the way like the glass and all is like perfectly shaped with that it looks so dude, clean it just flows but we're gonna go ahead and now officially move on to finishing up this interior we were thinking about actually painting the mirrors black but i think we're gonna leave them orange and it's gonna take like three extra hours to do you yeah know that's I mean? something that we can just easily just swap or paint later you know not a big deal carbon but I, mirrors dude carbon you could go carbon it'll match like everything and we we're honestly thinking about painting this black as well but what if they sell that in carbon to match the roof that would look clean we're gonna look into it for sure dude but i think right now let's just go ahead get these doors completely together let's put the seat in the whole center console there just have this sucker a hundred percent done guys we're going out for a little hot dog hell's our found a little hot dog stand down the road you're really hungry ain't you you know how you see those tiktoks of those guys making those street hot dogs yeah <laughs> a bunch of stuff on there hot dog stand dude i've never been at this flea market in probably like 20 years i've never been at all wait slow down what if we can park right behind them right there Shoot Look at that, Chevrolet. That's all right. I'll pull Wait, right don't here. pull around. I want to loop around. That way we can go shopping at the other places too. Dude, this is cool, actually. Shopping out of your truck, dude. That's an invention. That's why they got this place right here. You never so have to be... get out. You just do window shopping. How many you want? Get four of them. Hey, how you doing? Y'all can keep the change. <laughs> what are we getting over here? I have no idea, but they got like shrimp in a cup with like a bunch of sauces. And I was like, dude, I might as well try one of these too. You know what I mean? Might be, dude, might be our new lunch spot, dude. Yeah. Hey, do a little bit of shopping and eating while you're, look at that, they got power tools. You need a D-Walk? No, nah, they ain't got no Milwaukee's. We need Milwaukee. Milwaukee is the only way. Wow, that's what I'm talking about right there. I love all yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. I love seafood in general. Yeah. You know it's gonna be fire right oh, yeah. now. This, this might get us to finish up that ZR1 super fast. Or knock us out. <laughs> Put us down. Put us down, we might take some Z's.
And there you have it guys, the C6 ZR1 is officially finished up. We just got done with our interior. It's looking absolutely amazing. And just having it outside here finished up is such a good feeling, especially next to the C7 ZR1, dude. Which one would you take? The C6, C6? maybe the C7 on like a weekend. The C6 on a race day. Oh, dude, if this <laughs> I mean, they're both, a, they're both they're both perfect. I wonder how this thing would be if it was in a manual package. You know what It'd I mean? Pretty wild. Dude. Pretty wild, but you know what? The automatic is sick as well. You know, you got them paddle shifters. But look at this beauty right here, dude. Look at the interior of this thing, man. We just threw in those original ZR1 seats. I love the original interior on this car right here. Honestly, dude, for its age. It's pretty nice, dude. Pretty clean. I mean, super, super clean. clean. I'm just glad we were able to find the original seat and just yes. get this thing back to, you know, it's it's glory days, man. Exactly, dude. But also got the doors together. And dude, I'm still surprised that, you know, of course, again, with this age of this car, dude, it had that type of mechanism. Yeah, you know, electronic you know I mean? door openers, man. That's just crazy. But definitely looking at these mirrors right here next to this car, got to definitely upgrade those to something different like we mentioned before. But let's just do a quick little walk around all the way around this car is just perfect it's almost like a timeless car you know what i mean it's a masterpiece, masterpiece. dude this has been a goal is to get a zr1 in the goon squad fleet and we finally got one and this thing is just a beauty it's dude. such a beauty but you know what guys the last step of this project is to pretty much do that tuning we got to upgrade the fueling system uh injectors and also the fuel pump and we also got a hydraulic brake on the way that stuff should have been in but you know what stuff gets delayed and stuff but we're super excited to actually knock that stuff out and then we'll be able to rip this thing and do the things that we want to do to it. We were honestly thinking about buying one of these wrecked, but you can't really find them on the auction. You know, we were wanting to rebuild one of these, but honestly, I'm super happy we found that C6 right there, hey, man. That's the OG right there. That is the OG. That right there is just top of the line stuff right there. And you guys are going to have to stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> She's good. Just had to do it, man. You know what I mean? Had to. Oh, and we damaged something. What oh, that's the shock. Is that sh the shock's been done? That shock's been done. We just got it more done. Son, hey, this thing eats, dude. It, eats. It, it, it eats. It eats Corvettes too, dude. It can do a mean. Whoa! Look how sticky those tires are. That's what these are. tires are, man. We need to hit some rocks. <laughs> 